Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to be talking about setting unstructured domain and block defaults. So let's go ahead and go to the defaults panel and expand the unstructured domains and blocks frame. In this frame, this is where you're going to be able to specify your unstructured domain and block default attributes. Now in the first frame, we have unstructured domains and isotropic attributes. You'll be able to specify things like the algorithm type, whether that be Delaunay, advancing front or advancing front ortho, the cell types, triangle attributes such as the min and max edge length, etc. In the T-Rex frame, this is where you're going to be able to specify 2D T-Rex default attributes like maximum layers and growth rate. Under blocks, in the isotropic frame, this is where you'll be able to specify unstructured block attributes for the isotropic portion of those unstructured blocks. In the T-Rex frame, this is where you'll be able to specify 3D T-Rex default attributes. Again, number of layers, the growth rate, cell types, quality criteria. I use this panel quite heavily because I can set all of this up before I create a block such that when I then create that T-Rex block, it inherits all of these attributes. Additionally, you can take this information and you can save a pointwise environment file. So all of this information is retained and you can move it from project to project. So you would set up all of these defaults, go file, save environment as, and then when you're working on a new project, you don't have to recall what attributes you specified for T-Rex. You can just load that environment file and all of these defaults will populate so that when you create a new unstructured block that you're going to use 3D T-Rex to populate, it will automatically inherit all of these attributes. So let's go ahead and do an example, a 2D example. Let's change the default algorithm type to advancing front and say we want triangles and quads and go ahead and create an unstructured domain. Now you can see that it has inherited that algorithm type and those attributes when I created that domain. And I could change any of those things after the fact by selecting that entity and in this case going to grid solve going to the attributes panel and I could change those attributes and then reinitialize that domain. So that's how you specify unstructured domain and block attributes. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.